Welcome back to the COP TV, the voice of football's most famous stand. Make sure that you like, comment and subscribe for more juicy content. Listen to him and do exactly just that. Enjoy this video. Um, Steven Gerrard, though, that's an interesting one. I actually half agree. I don't think he'll probably become Liverpool I don't manager. think he will. I still believe in that he's going to come after Klopp. Listen, I'll say one thing. If Gerrard has done enough to still be around Premier League football by the time Klopp's retired, you need to think FSG will be looking at the model and they will look to promote the best available. I can't see Gerrard being the best available manager at that time. I think the only way Gerrard manages Liverpool down the line is if it's a break glass in case of emergency situation where Klopp's pre uh, like successor comes in. Exactly. Yeah. So, so look, just say for, let's say for fucking, for argument's sake, right? Pochettino now is not doing anything. Say, comes down the line, Klopp's retiring and I'm off 2026, is it? Yeah. I'm out here, lads. Thanks for the memories. Everyone's fucking crying their eyes out. We're all sobbing. Heartbroken. All right, Pochettino comes in. He's already, look, he's going already. Yeah. <laughs> Man, yeah. no, don't worry, we lad, get it. Say we get we get to Christmas and it's not happening. Pochettino stinking the gaff out. All right, let's lift give, the crowd. Let's get Gerard in. He, you, we'll see the same shite now that we're seeing with everything, even though they're talking about a fucking Tory who's Frank Lampard. Yeah. Like he gets yeah. the club, he gets us, Bollocks. and that's what it'll be. I, I just, I, I love Steven Gerrard as a player. I fucking idolised him. But you can't mix the both. Exactly. No, yeah, exactly. So just because, it, it, just yeah. because he was... Listen, we don't know like, what's yeah. going to happen if in we four get, years. No, no, and that's the thing now. We, Alex is knows? 100% right. Who I'm knows? talking from right now. And again, he's had an Aston Villa <clears> team where it's still very new. He hasn't even had a full season to himself yet. Like yeah. He had last year and he's come up His to the year. The just been injured for six months. So centre-back injuries. Even these big money signings like... Listen, yeah, Aston Villa have spent a lot of money, but they have spent a lot of money. Gerard specifically hasn't gone right. I love this player, this player, and this player. He's still maximising what he's got. He's done sound. They were in a relegation battle when he came in. He kept them up, and he done really well by getting them to wherever he got them to. He, he won the league with Rangers as well. But if you say to me in two years' time, three years, four years, when Klopp leaves, who would I rather have? I think I'd rather have Pochettino quite comfortably than have Steven Gerrard. But again, again... I don't know. I don't know. Manny, do you just not like Pochettino? Come on, he's, he's, he's a good manager. He's a good manager. Yeah. But it's not for Liverpool for me. No, I agree, but it's I'm not saying that out class of them for Liverpool. Too. Yeah, out of Gerard and Pochettino, who would you rather choose? Of course, Steven Gerrard. Well, so like, right, right now, not now. Right now. Yeah, okay. no, not now. Okay. In, but, so in a couple even, of years, so in what's three, four seasons. Gerard has to do well enough to even be in a job for four years. What's Gerard going to achieve? Exactly. That gets them the job. That exactly. gets them the Liverpool job. So he's at Aston Villa now. Yeah. He's already he's won doing, the league with Rangers. He's doing his own experience now? now in the Premier League. Yeah. He starts with Rangers. He starts under uh, Liverpool under 18, then Rangers. Yeah. So he's doing experience. But he needs to And one, one uh, day he's going to be the natural. Um, but what does he need to have achieved to get to that point? Is it a top four finish? So right, with now, right now, what he's achieved so far. Experience. Mario. He's doing experience in Premier League. Mario, he needs what? experience. Yeah, no, but I know, but he also then needs you've got to start winning stuff. One sec. He needs a resume with accolades on there as well, Mario. So right now, his accolades is I spent um, a season and a bit at Rangers or two seasons at Rangers and I won a league title. I've now gone to Aston Villa. We finished like 15th or 14th. Based on that resume right now, you couldn't just say, Steven Gerrard, come to Liverpool. At the what's moment, he, no. No, I what's agree. he going to do between now and the time that clock leaves? I you think, think will be good enough to say, okay. right, you're the Liverpool I manager. get your point. Uh, probably in Europa League with uh, Aston Villa. Okay. Probably, probably so top four. It, so take it Why a not in, beyond in, their expectations. If Steven Gerrard is getting better as a manager, probably in a couple of, of seasons, he can go in the Champions League yeah, with but Aston I think Villa. Gerrard's Why not? next job after Villa mm. is going to be what determines. Say he stays at Villa though. And yeah, he gets, for it, say imagine. he stays at Villa and then he gets the Europa League position by 2026. Even just once, you're happy with him being the Liverpool manager. Well, for, yes. this, for example, will. it I could will. be a case where Jared probably makes sixth or seventh with Villa, and you just know like, that's the ceiling. It's not. Yeah. Remember, Martin O'Neill was Aston Villa manager. Yeah, he was like got they were fifth. Yeah. They were fifth most seasons, yeah. and they were like, look, I can't do anymore. Yeah. And what happens is you stay, you either fucking die a hero or live long enough to come to Villa, and that's what happened with him. You get fucked out. Mm. Jared, his next progression it could be somewhere like Leipzig or Dortmund who they're going, okay, we're going to take a chance on a, a young, exciting manager coming up and we're going to give him a whirl. I just don't see the natural progression for Gerard now as much as the romance of an all Because he can't go to another big six club, can he? But the romance the of an all is great. Um, and yeah. That's, look, we are, that, the romantic in his eyes is like, imagine fucking Gerard walking out as, as manager. I just, 
I don't know. I haven't seen it so far. I haven't seen it so far. Maybe I'm being harsh, but I just... I think, I think he's an okay manager. Yeah. I think some Liverpool fans are putting him in a category where he can be the... What's the words I'm looking for? Not the surpasser. Like, the person who, like, takes over after Successor. Klopp. Successor. Successor. Yeah. Successor after Klopp. Or it's a case of, like, he's really, really shit. Like, it's, he's either one of those two yeah. things. He's not in between. Whereas I think he's in between. And he should be. He's been a manager for a few seasons. Now listen to I think he'll get to a Klopp level. No, because I don't think many people do. And I don't think it's a bad thing if you do that. Right now in world football, I think there's only one manager who can talk to Jürgen Klopp. Goes by the name of Pep Guardiola. Yeah. Right now in this it's current moment. Facts. So that's that's sort of, obviously Carlo Ancelotti based on resume and stuff as well. But I mean, just in terms of the consistency, the points tallies, I don't think there's many managers who are getting that level of consistency out of teams like Klopp and Pep. That's why I but would They got say, experience, lads. No, no, but Mario. They got experience 10, even 15 experience, years. Yeah, but this is Harry Redknapp has experience and he's just a okay <laughs> Yeah, but okay this manager. is different points. Neil Warnock has got Harry Redknapp. Yeah. Even yeah. Roy yeah. Hodgson has got experience. Die for three <laughs> points. Exactly, exactly. He's what got that, experience, but you wouldn't employ Roy What Hodgson. I'm trying to say that we want to avoid the same mistake Chelsea did with Lampard. Yeah. Chelsea legends, massive player. He scored 200 or more goals. Okay. He got him too soon. But exactly. But even, and that was a massive but mistake. But you can't, Mario, if you're Lampard, that you don't was say a massive no mistake. to that job. We tried no, to avoid that point. mistake with Gerard. So give him time. Let's, uh, let, let's be like, you know, give him time to be a manager in Premier League. He got experience. He, he needs to, you know, to learn. He still needs to learn. He's 40 years old. So for the manager, 40 years old is younger. He needs to learn in a couple of years, maybe four, maybe even not after Klopp, maybe after the Klopp's successor after that, maybe he's going to be Klopp, uh, uh, Gerrard, or uh, after 10 years, I don't know. But I'm pretty sure that one day he's going to be a Liverpool manager. Maybe not after Klopp. He needs experience. This is the point. And I think he's going to be very, very good manager. Apart of that, he was the probably the best football player in Liverpool history. Apart of that, of course, we love Gerrard because he was the best. The, the the manager position is something different. And Lampard knows. Look, Lampard with Chelsea. When mm. you think about Lampard as a, a Chelsea manager, what do you think? He another, was shite. Yeah, another, this is the point. Another thing you need to factor Given, in is how different... He needs experience to be a great manager yeah, with the big teams. How different football might be by this the time the he gets the opportunity to be Liverpool manager? Because to be honest with you, if you believe what you're hearing like, in regards to the Super League, and even though the Champions League is now real different now, under these new Champions League rules, this coefficient, it's kind of impossible for Liverpool not to be in that competition mm. when it comes around in a Defo. couple of years. And, so it will come back. You and know, that's and not that will, like you, all. going back to your point on club, James, what's your objective? We just need to be in the fucking Champions League. If you challenge a challenge, I reckon even that's what they tell them. Because, it will be. Yeah, it will. Because that's what but imagine we're guaranteed that. Yeah. Imagine remember, guaranteed do you that remember the first what, season? It, it, that takes, it's a good point. It's a good point. It, it, it's so shit. Did you remember the first That's season the of Guardiola James, with Barcelona? No. The first season, he was a player. Then he went to uh, to manage Barcelona. You remember the first season, two thousand eight, two thousand nine? He won every tro like every single trophy. Six trophies. Six trophies in the yeah. first season as fucked, a manager. And he fucked Ronaldinho out as well. But Pep special. Okay, Pep he, is special. but. He wasn't a, a good player. I mean, he was a good player. Yeah, he was a very good player. But he wasn't a world class player. Yeah, but that's like that. There you go. But he was a leader, same like Gerard. Yeah, but he was a leader in in. I mean, I yeah, tell you what, it's easy. To be, I think to be a good manager, Mario. you have to be a proper tactically. leader. It's easier to be a world class player than it is to be a world class manager. I think yeah. I, I agree with that. Well, I, yeah, well, I yeah. agree with that point. It, yeah, no, it, it is because like yeah, yeah. it's like one percent of people in England become a footballer. One percent of the people who make it to an academy actually make it to being a footballer. And yeah. then think about how many players there are, and then think about how many the, managers the there are. Managers there are. There are. Exactly. So the chances no, that that is even crazier. So for Gerard to get to that level. Yet they have similar things, but as we know in football, two plus two is never the actual answer. Exactly. That's the thing about footy, so it's a tough one.